What is going on guys? Ghost here and today we are back on the American Force Gaming server. Good news, good news. Um, the truck that we repo, the old, uh, the, well not old, the, the 2019 repo, well they uh, they let me buy it. We bought it for a couple of thousand. Uh, it didn't look like it really had any like really bad frame damage or anything. It just, it just needs, it needs a lot of love. Um, the doors and everything, we're going to have to re-weld the brackets for the doors. Uh, same for the back, we'll probably have to replace some sheet metal. Um, we have a couple big dents right there, and uh, I actually got some patch panels. They actually have them. The tailgate, basically we'll just weld it uh, in place. Or we might, uh, we might even just rip the tailgate off for now. That way we really don't have to worry about it. But uh, the frame looked good, but the only thing is... It's it's going to be. We'll have to new, put new axles and everything under it. I was like, you know what? That's a lot of work just to make it back stock. We're not going to get our money out of it because it is basically it's a totaled. You know that's what's reared off of. We could do a rebuilt title, but we're going to lose a lot of money. So why not build something good with it? So we are going to be building a mud truck. Yes, we're putting the M wrap axles on it. We're doing a custom four link. Um, we're going to fix everything now. We'll probably just like primer the you know our new panels, and later on we'll paint the whole truck on color. But we are going to use some big old V tread like monster truck tires. Um, we're not usually you're not running tractor tires, but monster truck tires. It's going to be awesome. The front bumper looks like we can basically just rip it off and maybe weld up the uh, the brackets or something like that. The frame didn't look like it was twisted, but we are putting, a, you know, our own, basically a subframe under it, so I'm not really worried about that. The motor and stuff seemed like it was good. Um, man, this guy really trashed it, but we're going to fix all this. We'll put new doors over everything. We're even missing a mirror. Like, I didn't even see that. So, uh, we got a new Ram box. I mean, it's things going to get to work. So, let's go ahead and get to it. I think first we need to try to take off the rear door, and we'll get all we'll get the uh, driver door off. The rear door will probably be the get that off, and basically get rid of the rims and tires, and we'll drop the axle. Got my welder. We are going to be welding up a four a custom four link like type subframe. I've got my uh, my axles and everything in here, and all my. Basically, I just got a kit from one of my buddies to build the four link for it. I kind of gave him the measurements of what truck we're using, and he kind of went from there. So, should be an easy piece together, and we should have a big old mega mud ramp, a 2019 mud ramp. Like, somebody's got a lot of money to do this, but they don't. <laughs> so, once we get it painted, like, yeah, it was brand new off the lot. We, we didn't get a wreck one or anything like that. But, let's go ahead and get started. Let me go up here. We're going to. Ripped the doors off and we'll get rid of the bumper and all that good stuff. I'll put a new one on. Where's my drill at? Um, there it is. Let me grab my drill. I have to uh, I have to sing when I'm working. It's just uh, it's just a thing. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go ahead and get these doors off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got my shades on that away. We'll see. Oh man. Um. Yeah, those bolts are demolished. I'm gonna try to drill them out. Let's see, get that. Go. There we go. All right, that might do it. Um. See, it's holding by the latch. I'm just gonna. Hopefully, we can just rip it off. Let's go ahead and sit that right there. And see if we can. Might have to get a hammer or something. I'm hopefully I can save this door even if I have to like weld it shut. Come on, come on, baby. There we go. All right, drag it over here. Lay it across right here. All right, all right. Put that there. Got that off. Um, everything looks all right. Might have to do a little bit of a. Uh, patchwork on the hinge right there because it looks like it dry, uh, ripped it down a little bit. Uh, our cables and stuff look good. We might be able to salvage it. Might, we might be able to use the power windows on it. Hopefully. 
Let's see, we need to go ahead and get this door. So let me grab my drill fast and try to get that door open. It should open, hopefully. I know we are missing a mirror and everything, so <laughs> we definitely gotta definitely gotta get that. Alright, let's go ahead and go this side over here. Alright, let's try to get this door open. Oh come on now. Come on. I don't wanna break the handle. There we go. Perfect. Alright, um boy that door is kinda shot. We're getting I've got new patch uh, panels for the bottom down here at the rockers and the door. We're just going to do a new door. We'll do new doors all the way around. Let's drill that one out. And... Oh, there we go. Thought I broke my bit there for a minute. I'm like, what? These bits are really expensive. Come on. Ugh. I don't want to like fall and like break something. That's all I need. Alright. Let me go ahead and grab this door right here. Alright, and... I'll just sit it up here on the other. This is gonna be my scrap pile. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just lay it right here. Do, do, do. Got the doors off, so we're good there. Uh, not that bad. We got to replace the pieces on the bottom. Let's go ahead and let me grab my impact over here. We'll grab the impact and we'll pull all the wheels off because I've got to go ahead and take the rear, uh, the front uh, axle out and the rear axle. Alright, let me go ahead and do that. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and get the wheels off of it. It's right here. I don't know what in the world. Like, the caliper, everything just, like, wrapped over the tire. I don't know. Here we go. And there we go. Let's get this other one. There we go. There, there. Alright. And let's get this other one over here go there, there we go and let's get this one there we go all right got all those loose let me go ahead and slap these I'll slap, slap it right there all right let's pull the wheels off there we go Just throw it over there like these are not good at all like the rims are all like completely crapped out go roll that over there oh 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 and it smacked the CNC machine. Oh, let's get that out. Oh, put that over here next to this door there. Well, I mean, if I do run out of parts, we've got plenty of parts. <laughs> if not, I know a bunch of people has got parts. That bumper, we're just going to bend it back down. Be a much or that and right there. All right. So we've got the wheels and everything off. So now um, let's go ahead and get the axles and everything like that down. Let me grab some wrenches and let's see, grab my impact. Let's go ahead and place it there. there we go. Alright. Now we'll put the forklift under it so uh we can kind of grab it. I think that'd be pretty good. After we do a donut. Can this thing do a donut? And. Yeah, you spin me right around, baby. Oh, no, don't hit the box. Some classy axles up in there. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get it. Pull up in here. All we have to do is just pull up in here. Oh, don't want to hit my new bumper too bad. All right. Let's see. We good. All right, that should be good right there. All right, um, I want to go ahead and start removing the axle from the front, and then I'll move the back here. So let me go ahead and, you know what? I should just lift the daggone truck up a little bit. Let's see, let's go ahead and start moving. Okay. All right, get that one. All right, come on, ow, another knuckle, oh. My, my hands like are healed up because I haven't restored anything in a while and now I got oh man I need a band-aid all right well I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the axles and everything off of this thing so it'll be good to go all right so we should be able to go ahead and pull this axle out there we go 
I'm just going to dump it over here. Dump it to crump it. It's completely demolished. I'll see if one of my friends want it. Maybe they can salvage something out of it. Alright. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and we need to get that bumper fixed too. Let's see. We might be able to just adjust it. Looks like might be a little grab a wrench right here. Um, I think we might be able to just unloosen it and bend it back down. Let's get that. Let me see. We got one up there. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, come on. Pull us. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> I'll tighten it back up. It's a mud truck. You know what's going to happen. All right, let me get the other one, and there we go. Perfect. All right, uh, let me get my patch panels. They are laying over here on my table. All right. Now, luckily, I have a friend that knew somebody that had uh, that was like starting to kind of recreate these. Since I mean. The, the truck hasn't been out that long, so it's hard to find parts, but we found some. This sounds good. Right now, we got to replace the bed, the fender, and let's see, the hood, and this. This is our biggest problem, so let's put that right there. Let me go ahead and grab my saw. Oh, all I wanted to do was cut stuff up. No, 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 no. All right. This bad boy up. Oh yeah. Oh yep. So we'll cut that right there. And let's cut that. Uh, hopefully the truck don't fall apart. And cut that and that. Okay. Make it sparks. Make it sparks. I'm gonna put that down. Um they should fit because they were at the seams. Let me put this panel up. Um yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tack this in real quick. Like I said, uh, we're going to tack it. And then... Tack it there. And then... We'll uh, go back and rework everything. There we go. Alright, let's go to the other side. And then we'll just put a quick coat of primer and everything on everything. Go. And... There we go. All right. Um, I've got the RAM box. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there and everything. So it should be all right. We'll get the new hood and everything there. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Now, um, I went ahead and put new doors on everything. They're all um, kind of like the, the primer coated. Straighten the bumper up a little bit more. We slapped the hood on. Um, new doors, new of course hood, and look, we actually have two mirrors. I've got to put the RAM box on, left the tailgate off, didn't really need it. Um, later on, might do stacks, probably just do a hood stack out the hood, be the easiest. Now, um, I don't know what it is, every time I send uh, DJ out to get some tires mounted, he's like, yeah, mount them. And he gets them mounted on the wrong side, so these have to be switched around, so... I know they're facing the wrong way. All right, but uh, we've got everything. I just rolled these up. This is kind of how the stock car of the church will sit. So what we're gonna do is um, we've got to build the four link and of course the axle. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let's see. I'm gonna unbox these right here. All right, gotta open this lid over here. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the forklift. We'll tie them onto it and try to put them in place i'll hold them up and then uh i'll put a couple bolts in the uh the actual uh, the wheels that way it kind of holds it and then we kind of know where to sit it all right pull it over here there we go all right get out Let's unhook these bad boys up Grab my chain. There 
There we go. All right. First axle going in. Yeah, lift it up more. There we go. Oh, they were stacked on top of each other. All right. Um, let's see. I'm gonna drag it up a little bit. Yeah, we're we'll gonna center ourselves a little bit. Hitting the tire. Hopefully, it should go in the middle. We'll probably have to roll the tires out just a little bit. All right. Hopefully, that looks good. Let me check it. We'll go up here and uh, what to get our measuring tape and everything. All right. Um. Hmm. Looks like it's pretty good. Let's check. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm going to go ahead and get the chain. And let's go ahead. I'm going to put a couple. Let's see. Just hand tighten those. Put that, oh, okay. Yeah, these are um, these are like really big where you need a lot more people to kind of help with. I'm going to go ahead and um, put the back axle on. We're in, so we kind of know where we put the forward link at. So let's go ahead and grab the other one and uh, be good to go. All right, so uh, got the back axle on. Looks like uh, everything's going good. Now we just need to grab the kit and just go ahead and go for it. Because I, I gave him the dimensions. He said everything's cut out pretty precise. So we'll go ahead and start grabbing everything out of here that we need. Um, let's see, we go. Oh, it's a big old bar right there, and that. First thing we need to do is I've got the uh, the brackets we need to weld onto the axle. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, these sort of things are humongous. Uh, is that all right? Yeah, let's go ahead and put that there. Let's go ahead and weld that right there into place. All right, all right, let's go ahead and weld this other bracket into place. All right, now let me go ahead. I need to go ahead and get underneath here. Go, all right, that looks good. All right, so. All I have to do now is uh, put the back brackets on. Of course, the front is going to be a little more because we do have steering and everything. All right, so we got those brackets put in place along with the front. Everything's welded up. Oh, woo! I just stood up and I felt the back of that uh, uh, bed right there, just right at my head. That would have hurt. Should have built it a little higher so I could uh, just walk under it. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll put our bars and everything on like that. Let me go ahead and grab the rest of these out and set them out here. And we got our subframe. We need to go ahead and weld up also. And there we go. Go ahead and check that out. Yeah, that looks good to me. Oh, oh, goodness. It's like a jungle gym in there when you try to get out. All right, so uh, the Ford link is welded up and everything. We still got to put the transfer case in. We're doing a drop down transfer case. Um, and let's see, we still got to put the uh, the jaw shaft and everything in. Let's see, finish up the steering, and we got the shocks. Now the shocks are. Uh, I, I sent a picture of the truck and told him kind of like the color code he looked it up so he kind of tried to match the shocks and everything really great guy he's been like starting his own like little lift kit company but i mean like it's pretty cool looking anyways let's go ahead and finish up i need to get the transfer case and everything i think it's a little bit heavy so we'll grab this i'll grab me a couple uh jack stands and everything I got that sitting over here. All right, go ahead and chain that on. Do do do. There we go. Perfect. All right, <clears throat> let's uh take it back over there. Should let the little tires on it and burn them. All right, let me lift that a little bit more. Um, I 
think I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to swing this in, so we might actually have to roll the truck out. Well, we can't because I ain't got the shocks or anything on it. Try my best to get this in. I got the jack there, so we'll get that. Just don't want to puncture a tire or anything. It's all I need. Like, oops, drew the forklift in it. Um, that should be good, and then uh, we'll get the rest. I'll get the jack and stuff, and we'll put it in there. Get some crib blocks and get that sucker going. All right, let me see if I can position that out over here. All right, let me get ahead we go all right um i think we're good to go oh about knocked my head off again put my wrench over here all right i think we're good to go we just gotta do the shocks and we should be all right draw shaft and everything transfer cases in i'm just hoping it it holds up i do have an idea that i've been wanting to do for a while I, there is you can actually drive the uh like a quote unquote drive the coast all the way out to the uh the the pier down in Los Santos and I'm thinking that would be a good main voyage just following the coastline we don't have a snorkel on here or anything but I'm going to see if Denise wants to maybe take a ride down there I think that would be pretty cool for the first test drive so let's go ahead and grab these shocks out of here oh my gosh these things are oh, oh god oh, I'm going to blow it back or something alright um, oh god Put that right under there. Yep, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's not too bad, but it's still heavy. Let's go put that in there. It's just real awkward. There we go. Alright, let me get ahead and that wasn't that bad. I over exaggerate that. Just oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna bolt that up. Grab my impact over here. Do, do, do. And then we'll slide on. Screw doing with the daggone uh, wrench. There we go. Perfect. Do this sucker like this. Zip, zip, zip. But first, oh, bing, bing, bing. killed a uh, fourteen aliens. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, there's a bird out there. Bing. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and zap that in. There we go. And that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the others, and we should be good to go. Well, go on, you stupid. Get in there. All right. And, um, oh, well, there's a plastic clip that might be broke. That's all right. Um, I'm not, I don't think I could actually access the RAM box that high up so uh we just won't open that one it, it, i might have broke something on it it was not my fault okay everything is good what i'm gonna do is um we should take it maybe off road just across the shop see how it does and then um bring it back i'll tighten on the bolts and then again and then torque them out and then when we go to our trip and come back i'll do it again that way up uh, we know it's good So, let's try this bad boy. Oh, man. This is going to be one of those things. I'm going to jump up on my jack right here and try to get up in there. Don't throw it out. Here we go. Ooh, wee. Look at this. If you ever felt like you're sitting on top of the world, this would be it. All right. We might have a problem. I think my wheels are too big to fit between my... you got to be kidding me. I did not plan that. <sighs> that kind of stupid jack. What? How did I... Oh, man. I got to take the wheels off, use the forklift to push it out, or put smaller ones on. you got to be kidding me. <sighs> it never fails. That gonna... All right, let's go ahead and drop that down. Yeah, now that's a jack. Just uh, <clears throat> slide that under the rear end and do it like that. All right, um, wheels are on. I say we take this bad boy at least out the mountain or something. Good nuts. We did all this work to it. Okay, I mean, um, sounds decent. Uh, definitely need uh, the hood stack or something. I don't like the stock exhaust. 
Okay. That's going. Let's put it in reverse. Okay. Turn it this way. Don't sound like we have any um, clicking going on or anything like that. Okay. Now let's. All right. She's flexing a little bit. All right. Full drive seems to be working. Now I'm just gonna leave it in full drive all the time. We're not. I'm not really gonna take it out or anything like that. All right. She shifted a second. All right. Third. Okay. So we're good there. Let's see how she does. Just a little slow climb. I, I don't want to break it or anything, so I'm trying to take my time with it. Oh yeah, she's doing good. Perfect. Tell me we didn't turn a uh, a fart into a jewel. I just say that. I think I just did. All right. Um, let's take it down in here and see how it does. Oh, we got a rock there. This thing really isn't a rock crawler, but uh. Might as well have some fun with it. There we go. Look at that. Climb up there. No problemo. Uh, I don't think we can go in there, so we're not going to try. Oh, yeah. The axle should hold this pretty good because, I mean, they are in wrap axles. Okay, brakes are working good. Everything, everything seems to uh, be working good, so I'm really happy with this, and it looks really good. I like the tire choice. It's kind of that big monster truck status, but it's kind of a swamp truck status. Okay, we're good there. How's the dude climbing a rock? Well, this ain't really that big of a rock. Look at that! Rock climbing in him! Monster mud truck! Okay, I like it. Seems like it's doing pretty well. Um, we have any engine lights on? Uh, ABS light is on. Okay, well, you know what? That's not bad because we're not using the, you know, the correct, the axles and everything are gone. So we'll see if we can flash it and get that all, all that crap off. I like it. This thing's good and it's geared pretty decent. Uh-oh, there's a wolf on me. Hey, let me just go ahead and squash it ever more. <laughs> it's head stuck in my tire. All right, let's back it up. Oh yeah, looks good, runs good, I like it. Sits up good, Um, I think it's going to do good. Like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna to see if Denise is free and we can go out on our, our uh, date. Well, they will meet me here and be like, hey, guess what, date night, you wanna go for a ride? <laughs> oh, I like it. I'll go here and um, Call my buddy and be like, dude, the lift you sent me, perfect. I love it. Oh, yeah. Definitely build some more like these. I think we could, uh, not like this, but like build a couple more trucks like this. We might be able to sell them for a decent profit. Because the kit and tires and everything didn't cost too much. I just got to switch the tires around. That gone it, DJ. It never fails. Oh, yeah. Rolling up. <laughs> Need to roll up to the, the mile with that thing. But is there a block I can flex on? <laughs> Oh goodness, I like it. That was a good. That was good. So we can probably sell that for a good amount if we do want to sell it. But uh, might keep it for a little bit. But we do definitely need a hood stack.